as always what's going on all right what we have today is a little ADCC motor that a person purchased from a reputable bike distribution company if you want to refer to them as that I'm not gonna mention their name I don't like to badmouth anybody and besides that it's not any of them's fault I don't care who you get the motor from they're not assembling and building and casting the engine they're just buying them and distributing them to folks like us so there's no need to you know verbally attack the distributor but anyway at the point in hand this person called me about a month month and a half ago asked me a few questions about the little motor so I give them the just the basic tidbits of what to do you know before you install it like my video before this one might even be two back I don't know can't remember anyway just general stuff tighten your bolts because sometimes uh doesn't matter who you buy them from what what dealer I don't care if it's a one of the old PK 80s deals or a Zeta or Zeta or however you want to pronounce it I've heard it both ways anyway every one of them at one time or another will have a loose bolt or nut and what have you so check all these and he did so both sides got rid of the acorn nuts which give you a problem so he didn't have any head problems head gasket problems also the double nutting if you have the studs and not the bolts because that way even when it's new and your exhaust gasket heats and shrinks when it's brand new the muffler will get a little loose so it so for the nuts not to back off all the way and your muffler fall on the floor ground whatever middle of the street double nut it and if the worst comes to worst the gasket might shrink it might start to leak you only have to tighten it one more time because it only needs a few heat cycles and uh Yep, just a precautionary measure. Just a little friendly advice there. It's not the vibration that uh, makes your exhaust pipe loose from brand new. It's the shrinking of the exhaust gasket that is on the front. All right. Anyway, back to my original thoughts here. This person was riding down the street. Motor just locked up out of the blue. Didn't run different, nothing. He's like, man, I guess I'm uh, lucky I had a good grip on the handlebars. Because it just locked up. That's why I always wondered why guys want to ride their motorized bikes 50 miles an hour when mechanical failures can happen and send you right to the hospital. Hell, maybe even ICU and over, you know, riding a motorized bike. And the faster you go, the harder you fall. Anyway, this is something I've never seen. I've never even heard of this happening in the years that I've been dealing with these bikes. But anyway, my personal job was like what I had to do on my motor a few videos back. Make a little video, show the distributor what's wrong, that it wasn't something you did or I did or, you know, you assembling it. It was just a malfunction, faulty part, whatever you want to call it, of the motor. It happens. So anyway, my job was to find out why this thing locked up. So my first question to him was, well, how'd you even get the chain off there? Because you got to turn the gear to get the chain out of there, or this motor should have a long chain swinging from it somewhere. And he took the gear off and just slid it off that way. And uh, yeah, good thinking. Got his chain off so he could bring me the motor. But anyway, I'm supposed to find out why it's locked up. Make a video so he can send it in and, uh, you know, they can get him going again. New motor, parts, whatever whatever decided to do. So anyway, instead of using the gear and then 19 millimeter nut that's on that, turn the motor over or try to before I start disassembling it, I thought, well, I'll just pull the magneto door off and uh, use the little nut on the crankshaft there. I'm not gonna be super torquing on it, so I don't have to worry about breaking the crankshaft. But anyway, let me reveal the first time I've ever seen this like I said, I've never even heard of something like this happening. Took the cover off, and what do I see? Holy smokes. The magnet came 
out of well the magnet assembly as you can see here it bent the coil there are some fragments in there that is what it has it jammed up at the moment but here is the half of the magnet that is supposed to be firmly you know placed inside of its little housing there but it has busted disintegrated and it's got parts wedged right in there and that is why his motor completely locked up stopped right where he was riding skidded the back tire and uh threw him forward a bit from what i understand i don't know if the uh crankshaft's bent or not i know this is bent it's all bent in you can kind of tell hopefully the video shows that so i mean the parts had to make a couple revolutions before they jammed in there something jammed in there and bent that bad fella well let me get the nut off there and the rest of this stuff and uh let's see what we got here's what we have so far those are our big chunks of magnets right there and that little guy and that little guy here's our broken off half piece there is the outside of our magnet housing if you will these little dudes are pretty powerful. As soon as I get that dude real close. Look how far that is away, but he's going to suck him over there. Nope. All right, let me get this magnet off here, but I wanted to show everyone where it just pulverized, I guess. I don't know really, you know, how they build the magnets. I just installed the magnets. When one's bad or needs installed, but that dude is not looking well. On the upside, the motor's not locked up. I think if we put a new magneto set up on it, that his motor's going to be just fine. Doesn't seem to have bent. Oh. Nope, it sure has. It's bent the crankshaft. Let me see if I can get my finger out of the way. Maybe you can see it. But if you watch it, it's like going uphill there. I don't know if that was a good description, but that's the best I can do for you. I don't have the other side off of it yet. So that motor is junk now. Crankshaft output shaft is bent. So no use continuing on any further. I'm going to make the video for them to send off to show them this and hopefully they'll send them another motor and it doesn't have these problems so anyway that concludes i just wanted to show everyone because i've never personally seen this or heard of this happening to anyone ever before after making the video for the customer of just you know the general damage which was plenty enough to send to them I had to go a little further just on my own curiosity. I wanted to check the keyway, make sure that crankshaft's actually bent. So here's the actual bonus footage of all that. There is the magnet that is in pieces. There's a half, another half. Little tin plates that hold it all together. That obviously did not hold it all together. I thought when I pulled it apart, I was like, wow, the keyway must not have been in there 100%. And uh, it worked its way out, and that is what got wedged in there and threw everything else apart. But I don't think that is the case, because in the debris of the magnet, I found the half moon key, and it is in pristine condition. It's not mangled, torn, twisted, nothing. So it had to be the magnet that came apart, which twisted the crankshaft when it got wedged in there and stopped it so hard 
and abruptly that it misshaped the actual steel of the crankshaft output and where the keyway rides. Let me see if I can't, for, with one hand, rotate this motor because I put this gear on it and nut just to do it for the quick video, make the extra effort. But you see, hopefully you can see how bent that dude is. It is really bent. Like I stated before, I've never seen anything like this happen ever. I've seen bad cylinders and cracked heads before you even start it, just from the factory, for whatever reason. I've seen clutches come apart because they didn't put the set screw in for the flower nut on the clutch assembly. I've even seen the drive gear off the other side of the crankshaft that runs the clutch or flywheel, whatever you want to, however you want to refer to it. I've even seen those work loose in the past, but never have I seen a magneto magnet come apart, wedge between the coil and the what's left of the magnet itself when it comes apart, and wedge in there and do that kind of damage. 